Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is a continuation for the topic tasks and function in system Verilog. In this video, we are going to discuss about difference between static and automatic. So coming to automatic tasks in system Verilog. An automatic task is executed each time it is called and has access to local variables within the block in which is defined. Unlike a regular task, which has a persistent lifetime, can be called from anywhere in the program, an automatic task is temporary and can be called from within the block in which it is defined. So automatic task is only for temporary. That is, when we call an automatic task, it will execute and gets deleted. Whereas normal task, it will remain permanent until the program gets terminated. An automatic task has access to only local variables. When we declare an automatic task, a local variable, local copy will be created. Let's see an example for automatic task. Here we are declaring a task as automatic and the name of the task is my underscore task and a comma b are of type int and these are input arguments. Here we are declaring a local variable called int sum. So sum will be also acting as a automatic. So sum is local. Sum is local to this task. So after this task gets executed and get terminated, this local copy will get deleted. This local copy will be deleted after the task get terminated. So in the beginning block, we are assigning a plus b that is equal to sum and we are displaying the value of a comma b comma sum. And here we are ending the task and in top module, we are calling my underscore task and we are passing the or values 2 comma 3 to a comma b. So here sum will be equal to 2 plus 3. So a value will be 2 and b value will be 3 and the sum value will become 5. So here task get completed and it will be terminated. So the local variable which is sum will get deleted because the task is automatic. So phi will be deleted. Here in this example, my underscore task is defined within the automatic keyword, which means that the sum variable is local to the task and is automatically destroyed when the task is completed. The task take two input arguments A and B, adds them together and stores the result in some variable. Let us see an other example of automatic task. Here task increment underscore count and here we are declaring a variable called new underscore count of automatic. Here new underscore count is of automatic. And within begin and block, we are incrementing new underscore count that is equal to count plus 1. We are assigning in begin and block, we are assigning new underscore count is equal to count plus 1. And we are displaying old count and new count that is count comma new underscore count. In module top, in top module, we are declaring a variable called count and initializing it to 0. Within initial begin and block, we are displaying the statement starting underscore count and we are calling the task for first time that is increment underscore count and we are passing the value of count. Here the value of count is 0 and here we, we are passing the value of count. So new underscore count will be equal to new underscore count is, will be equal to 0 plus 1 that is equal to 1. So First time when we call the task, new underscore count value will be equal to 1. 
as a task get terminated before the task get terminated the display statement will display the value of count which is equal to 0 count will be equal to 0 first display statement and new underscore count will be equal to 1 again we are calling the task increment underscore count here after displaying the these two values the task will be terminated and the local variable new underscore count will be deleted and the new underscore count will be deleted again when we call the task increment underscore count of count we are passing the value of count that is equal to 0 then new underscore count will be equal to 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 new underscore count is initialized because the task is here because new underscore count is automatic so the previous value of new underscore count will be deleted and it will be initialized to 0 and when we call the task new underscore increment underscore count and when we pass the value of count it will be again equal to 1 so here second time when we call the task it will be equal to 1 itself new underscore count will be equal to 1 again the task will be terminated and the value of new underscore count will be deleted since it is automatic and when we call again for the third time increment underscore count and when we pass the value of count the same repeats and new underscore count will be equal to 1 itself so this is about automatic when we declare this variable as static static int new underscore count then the value of new underscore count will not get deleted so that when we first when we call the task new underscore count will be equal to 1 second time when we call the task new underscore count will be equal to Two, as the value of the new underscore count will not get deleted it will remain and third time when we call the task new and task increment underscore count new underscore count will be equal to 3 this is the case of static and this is the case of automatic because new underscore count variable is defined as automatic it is local to the increment underscore count task and is automatically destroyed when the task gets completes. This means that each time the task is called, a new instance of new underscore count variable is created and the value of count is incremented independently each time. This is about automatic task. Coming to static task. In system weblog, a static task is a task that has static lifetime. This means the task is created when the program starts and remains in the memory until the program terminates. A static task can be called from anywhere in the program and has access to global variables. Let's take the example of this static task my underscore task is the name of the task and input arguments are a comma b of int type and int sum is a variable declared in the static task and within begin and block we are assigning the value of a plus b to the sum and we are displaying the value of sum a and b here because my underscore task has static lifetime it can be called from anywhere in the program and has access to global variables this makes static task very useful for creating reusable code that can be used in multiple parts of the program let's see another example of static task for example here we are declaring a global variable called int count equal to 0 which is a global variable and we are declaring a static task called increment underscore count and within begin and block we are incrementing the count value count is equal to count plus one 
and we are displaying the count. Here, as the task is static, it has access to global variables. So the value, because count has a static storage class, it is global to the entire program and can be accessed from anywhere in the program. This means that each time the increment underscore count task is called, it will increment the same global variable count and print the new value to the console. This makes it easy to keep the track of the counter that is in multiple parts of the program. So if we call the task increment underscore count for first time, increment underscore count, then the count value will be equal to one. And at the second time, if we call the task increment underscore count, then it will be equal to count equal to so on because the task will remain for, for the lifetime. Now let's see an example of automatic and static task. Here we have declared a static task called here we have declared a static task called increment underscore static and we have declared this count underscore a as static variable count underscore b as automatic variable and count underscore c as normal int variable but it will be considered as a static variable and we are incrementing count underscore a plus plus count underscore b plus plus count underscore c plus plus and we are displaying the value of count underscore a count underscore b and count underscore c here we are calling the increment underscore static task for three times Let's see the output results. Count underscore A is a static variable. Count underscore B is a automatic variable and count underscore C is a static variable. Since the count underscore A is a static variable, it value will not be deleted as a task will as the task terminates. So the value of count underscore A will be incremented like this. Whereas count underscore b is an automatic variable, so it so the value of count underscore b will be deleted as the task get terminated. So when we call the task static underscore increment for three times, the value of count underscore b is initialized every time. Whereas count underscore c is a static variable, the value will not get deleted as the task ends. So it will be incremented like this. Now, in the case of the second task, we are declaring it as automatic task, but count underscore a, we declared it as static, count underscore b as automatic and count underscore c as int, but it will be acting as an automatic since it is declared in an declared in automatic task and we are incrementing the values of count underscore a count underscore b and count underscore c and we are displaying the values of count underscore a count underscore b and count underscore c now we are calling the task for three times let's see the output count underscore a is a static variable so the value will remain as the task will get terminated. So the value of count underscore a will be incremented like this. Whereas count underscore b and count underscore c are automatic variables. So as the task get terminated, the value will also get deleted. So every time the task is called again, the value will be initialized and incremented. So the value will remains as it is one itself. Next, this let us see this task increment. Here, count underscore a is static, count underscore b is automatic, and count underscore c is int. So, by default, task and functions are static. So, count underscore 
so the variable which is declared in a static task will be always static and here we are incrementing the three variables and displaying the variables and calling the task for three times let's see the output here count underscore a is static so it will increment as it is count underscore b is automatic so it will be initialized every time and then it will be incremented and count underscore c is static so it will increment like this so this is all about automatic and static functions and tasks thank you